Rothman Orthopedic Institute has decided to terminate its relationship with the Philadelphia Eagles due to concerns over potential future malpractice liabilities stemming from the Chris Moregos lawsuit. Chris Moregos, a former special teams standout and team captain, was awarded $43.5 million in February 2023 after suing his doctors over a knee injury that ended his NFL career. The Philadelphia County Court of Common Pleas jury found orthopedic surgeon James Bradley, affiliated with the University of Pittsburgh, and Rothman Orthopedic Institute guilty of negligence in the malpractice case. This negligence forced the two-time Super Bowl-winning safety to retire prematurely. Although Bradley, not Rothman, performed the surgery on Morego's knee, Rothman oversaw his treatment and recovery. Morego's contended that his rehabilitation was hastened despite an MRI revealing a partial PCL tear. The jury assigned Bradley 67% of the negligence, $29.2 million, and Rothman Orthopedics 33%, $14.3 million. Rothman's share of the damages has since increased to $15.8 million due to penalties for delayed payment. Morego sustained his injury on October 12, 2017, in a game against the Carolina Panthers, which was diagnosed as a torn right knee posterior cruciate ligament. The judgment is still under appeal. Rothman has argued that Bradley and UPMC should bear the brunt of the blame. In a statement to Becker's Spine Review, a Rothman spokesperson said, Rothman Orthopedic Institute has ended its long-standing role as the official team physicians for the Philadelphia Eagles. The decision follows the jury verdict related to Christopher Morego's malpractice claim against Rothman Orthopedics Institute, in which Rothman physicians did not perform Morego's surgery. While appeals of the Morego's decision are ongoing, the potential future liability remains too high. Our priority is to avoid further financial disruptions and ensure continued high-quality care for all patients in the communities we serve. Rothman had been affiliated with the Eagles since 2004, but their contract expired on June 6, 2024, as reported by the Philadelphia Inquirer. Currently, Dr. Arsh Denota of Penn Medicine serves as the Eagles' chief medical officer and was promoted to the team's vice president of medical care in 2023. As a passionate Eagles fan, this news about Rothman Orthopedic Institute ending its relationship with our team is both significant and multifaceted. Firstly, it underscores the high-stakes nature of professional sports medicine. The Chris Morego's lawsuit and subsequent $43.5 million verdict highlight the critical importance of meticulous medical care and the devastating consequences when things go awry. Rothman's departure after such a long-standing partnership with the Eagles since 2004 is a poignant reminder of how even established relationships can be appended by legal and financial pressures. From a fan's perspective, it's a testament to the organization's commitment to player health and well-being that they are re-evaluating their medical partnerships to avoid future liabilities. This move by Rothman indicates the severity of the malpractice risks involved in high-stakes sports injuries and the complexities of managing such risks while ensuring top-notch medical care. Additionally, this change could signify a fresh start with new medical leadership under Dr. Arsh Denota of Penn Medicine, who has been the Eagles' chief medical officer since 2019 and was promoted to vice president of medical care in 2023. This shift might bring new strategies and innovations in player health management, potentially reducing the risk of similar issues in the future. The incident also emphasizes the profound impact of medical decisions on athletes' careers. Morego's unfortunate injury and the subsequent legal battle illustrate how critical every medical intervention can be. As fans, we hope this transition will lead to improved medical protocols and player support systems, ultimately ensuring that our players receive the best possible care to sustain their careers and well-being. In summary, while the end of Rothman's partnership is a significant shift, 
it opens the door for potentially better and more reliable medical care for our team. It's a complex situation that reflects the high demands and responsibilities of sports medicine in professional football. As we move forward, the hope is that this change will contribute positively to the health and success of our beloved Eagles. Análise. Boston Celtics é campeão e nos relembra que o basquete é um esporte coletivo. Comandado por um jovem e obcecado técnico, é liderado em quadra por craques altri, altruístas. O maior campeão da NBA promove o esforço em grupo para vencer. Jogos emocionantes de playoffs da NBA são como realizações de cinema ao vivo. Estão lá os heróis, os vilões, os coadjuvantes do respiro cômico, os diretores, os roteiristas, as celebridades em volta da quadra, a plateia, os takes em câmera lenta. Talvez pelo excesso de elementos cênicos e de entretenimento, parte dos torcedores, mídia e mercado envolvidos na fase derradeira da maior liga profissional de basquete do mundo esquecem que jogos de basquete são, no fim das contas, disputas desportivas e coletivas. O melhor time costuma vencer, o que ocorreu dessa vez com o Boston Celtics, que conquistou o seu 18º título na história da Liga. A franquia, que já foi liderada por grandes ícones como Bill Russell e Larry Bird, dessa vez não tem um grande super-herói de dimensões históricas. Depois de passar o carro por cima de Miami Heat 4 a 1, Cleveland Cavaliers 4 a 1, Indiana Pacers 4 a 0 e Dallas Mavericks 4 a 1, conquista um título de forma dominante e ignorado o Star Stay, praticado na NBA ao desenvolver um esquema de jogo balanceado entre estrelas e coadjuvantes. Normalmente acontece assim, em cada elenco da NBA, apenas dois, no máximo três atletas possuem a autorização da comissão para fazer jogadas individuais. Os demais cumprem funções específicas como bloqueios, rebotes e arremessos de três, pois nesse Boston Celtics atual, a inegável hierarquia do volume das jogadas ofensivas lideradas pelos amigos Jason Tatum e Jerry Brown, mas os outros titulares, Drew Holiday, Derek White e Al Horford, também gozam de importância e autonomia para brilharem. A lógica de jogo dos Celtas serve como filosofia de vida em tempos tão mesquinhos. A bola vai rodando de mão em mão até surgir algum desequilíbrio defensivo no adversário e se eles estiverem em melhores condições para o arremesso, finaliza a jogada. 